What's up? This is John from John Brands for Photography. And in the last video, we took a quick look at Adobe Rush. It's a really cool video editing program, very watered down mobile editing. It works great on the iPad, but it's mainly only for doing quick edits like Instagram stories, IGTV stuff, and anything where you don't need a bunch of transitions or cool effects or anything. Now I've been using it recently and it's really cool. Keep in mind, I'm not a video guy, but I do a fair amount of YouTube editing. So I get the gist of editing stuff. And while editing, I ran into a bunch of snags. So what I wanna talk about today are five updates I'd love to see in Adobe Rush. Starting out with the biggest one for me, since I'm an audio engineer, the audio editing. As of right now, there's really not a lot of options for your audio. While you do have built-in ducking and being able to turn up and down your audio, that's great and all, but I don't have any control. I'd love to be able to control how my fades work and just where stuff happens and really get in there and change the audio. And I think this is something Adobe could update pretty easily. What I'm assuming is gonna happen is the same thing that happened with Lightroom CC, is Adobe Rush is gonna start out super, super bare bones, but then soon they'll keep adding more and more features to it. Speaking of audio, the second thing I'd love to see changed is some scrubbing in the mobile app. As of right now, the desktop version of Rush will let you scrub and hear audio while you're scrubbing, but on the mobile version, you cannot, and that just irks me. Being an audio engineer, I actually edit most of my video based off the audio, not the video itself, depending on what the cut needs to be. And not being able to scrub is just the most annoying thing. I have to go back and play it through just to find out where I was versus I could just scrub and hear it, pick a spot and cut. So audio scrubbing on the iPad would be awesome. Next up is a huge one, and I'm surprised Adobe doesn't have this, but key commands. Like, guys, key commands. It's the only way to be fast in any program. Right now, Lightroom CC has it, Adobe Rush on the desktop has it, but mobile does not have any key commands at all. Like, you can't even press the space bar to play it. I just don't understand. And maybe they made this program thinking of the iPhone first and foremost, but I think if they really made a middle ground version for the iPad with key commands and everything so I could cut with just a key command and I can move around with the arrows would be super, super awesome. And it would really make Adobe Rush a more viable mobile editing experience. Number four is also another huge one, which is including it with Adobe Premiere Pro. So looking at the photographer side of things, you have whole plans where you get Lightroom Classic, Lightroom CC, Photoshop, all in one package. Meanwhile, you look at Premiere and Premiere Pro is like 20 bucks a month or something. And then you also have to pay $9.99 a month for Adobe Rush and it makes no sense. Adobe Rush really is only its greatest as a mobile editing program. So by itself, it's kind of pointless. It really, I mean, outside of Instagram stories maybe, it really is not the best option for editing on the go. But if you included it in Premiere Pro, then you could use it kind of how I was using Lightroom where when you're away from your desktop and you just have your iPad, you can load some videos in, start cutting it up, start doing your quick edits, get back home, open Premiere Pro, throw it in there and finish it up. But as it stands now, that is 30 bucks a month to do. And Adobe, no one's gonna do that. They're all gonna get LumaFusion, just, just saying. And the fifth and final one for me is clip snapping. So as of right now, the second and third different layers, they don't really snap. And I guess no program does that and videographers, please roast me if that's the case because yet again, I don't really edit video like that. But I would love to be able to snap together my clips, not just on the main timeline. It gets really annoying, especially on an iPad, trying to make it fit exactly without covering up some of the clip. It's really, it's really hard, it's mad annoying. So clip snapping and the other rows would be super awesome. So those are my five updates I'd love to see in Adobe Rush. If they do them, I could actually edit most of my videos on the go when I'm away from my main rig. Videographers, video editors, let me know what you all think in the comments. What do you think about Rush? Are these updates cool? Would you actually use it if Adobe had these updates? Just let me know. Anyways, thanks for hanging out again. Hope you enjoyed the content. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that thumbs and I'll be with y'all next time. All right, peace.